What's up guys? My name is Russell Allen. Uh, today I'm going to be showcasing my Sword of RN mod. Uh, it's a mod I've been working on for about two months over the summer. And um, so yeah, this is just going to be a kind of overview of the mod. So first thing, you're going to start the mod in Falkreath. Uh, that's it on the map. And once you're in the town of Falkreath, you're going to want to head into the Dead Man's Drink. So let's step on inside. Uh, I should actually mention uh, the reason why you want to go to the Dead Man's Drink is because that is where the quest giver is. So over here in this corner we have Amani, and we'll talk to Amani to get the quest. Nay, I was wounded trying to get an ancient sword from the tomb not too far from here. It's the sword of Aaron, a sword with a powerful flame enchantment. An adventurer like yourself could use a sword like that, no doubt. Be cautious. The sword has been broken into two pieces. A Rancor troll has one piece, while the other is guarded by necromancers and other undead. Alright, and there we go. We have started the Sword of Arryn. Um, so we're going to go to our quest log and set it as our main quest. So we need to get the first piece. And it says we have to beat a Rancor Troll. So, you might be asking what a Rancor Troll is. Well, you will uh, shortly find out. Um, one thing one thing I like to do, um, if you've discovered Half Moon Mill, uh, you can just fast travel to that, and you will spawn right next to the dungeon. Kind of convenient. If you haven't, uh, you'll have to... Uh, go to the cultist tomb but it's not too far from fall creek if you have a horse you can get there pretty quickly so if we just turned around here's the exterior and voila the cultist tomb discovered and a dragon so uh let's actually go in because i don't want to fight a dragon right now Alright, so here's the entrance, uh, kind of dark, you know, and all that stuff. There's a forge over there. We'll get back to that in a bit. Um, so to explain, the point of this quest is to retrieve the Sword of Arryn. It's a craftable sword you will, the player can create. Um, so let's go fight this uh, Rancor troll real quick. There's a skeleton. Now there's not a skeleton. As you can see, there's uh, a trap. Does, does pretty good damage. And we have this exterior light and a sword that leads to a trap. Pretty nice, huh? Alright. So as we go in here, uh, there's a troll. You know, it looks like an average size, but. Uh, yeah, no. He's kind of big. Badoosh! Oh, that's awesome. Cool. Alright, so... Killed the troll. Let's search its corpse. And we have the broken Sword of Iron Handle. We're going to want to take that. And this key, since there's no way to uh, get out from there. So we're going to head this way. Activated a trap. Better uh, fight these dragons pretty quickly, otherwise they'll suffocate. Missed on that shot. Yay! Alright, let's get out of here before I suffocate. Alright. So, if we go to our quest log, we uh, need to find the second piece. So let's head over in that direction. Oh, and there's one of our patrolmen, Roger, who went the wrong way. This guy, though, he 
dummy. And Badoosh. That's so cool, I love that. Alright, let's continue. Oh, another trap. Gotta watch out for those. And hey, who would have thought there's cultists in the cultist tomb? I'm actually gonna have these guys kinda help me out. Go over there. Oh no, you killed my friend! What is wrong with you? Don't worry, I have lots of friends. Uh... Alright, I'll actually let them deal with her. Uh, so, as we can see, there's a chest behind uh, these two gates. So, um, need to find where the chains are to open the gate. Uh, luckily, because I built this, I know where they are. So the first one is actually in the same room. So we're just going to pull this chain. And there we go. Once the player pulls the chain, they uh, it's in the same room so they know what it does. So now we need to find the second one so we can get to that chest that holds the second piece. So, um, excuse me, sir. Uh, so we're, this, this leads the player to explore. Um the dungeon, or the tomb, I should say. So we're gonna go do that. Um, this skeleton moves, and this skeleton moves. And they're dead. All right, so if we run up here, we have a nice, nice room. And it's full of skeletons. And a boss uh, right there, but I'm gonna have uh, my friends kind of take care of them while I go focus on the video. Right, just kill you, yada yada yada. Ignore them. Uh, so here's the second chain. And there is a trap, and you go to pull the chain. Right, so we pull the chain. Uh, he killed my friend. I'm not gonna worry about him. Uh, so we're gonna run back. Because we want that other part of the sword. I don't really need to have those up. And voila. It's open. So now we can go to the chest. And hey, there's the broken sword of our own blade, so we're going to take that. And now we have to forge the sword. Now, uh, I do believe there is a forge at the very entrance of the dungeon, which is the only way in and out, which is kind of convenient, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I know. Alright, so we're going to head over there, forge the sword. Um, fun fact, you don't need to forge the sword at this forge. Um, you can forge it at any forge if you want, but uh, I just placed it here, the forge here, so the player has a reason to kind of come back and not backtrack so much. But there's some stuff here that you can you can loot. Uh, sure. All right, we're gonna forge the sword, and it's in steel. And there's the sword of iron. Pretty pricey. All right. So there we go. We have the sword. We should go see Imani and tell him we got this cool thing. Just to show you how fast it is. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's not your average steel sword. It actually, uh, made it quite powerful. It's, a, you could say it's a tad bit powerful than the Daedric weapons. And it's very fast. So, yeah, uh, let's see if I recall there was a dragon out here. Oh, wow, had uh, me fast travel. That's awesome. Alright, so we're fast traveling back to Falkreath so we can go talk to Imani, tell him the good news. Do 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 diddly do. Alright.
right. I'm just gonna head back to the dead man's drink. And he's just sitting in his corner as always. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Yo, what's up, Imani? Let me gaze upon it. Ah, this is indeed a legendary sword. It will serve you well during your adventures. Woohoo! We completed it. And we get to keep this cool sword. So, yeah, that's about it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, the mod will be available on Steam. Um, I will plan to put it on the Nexus. And, yeah, that's about it. If you watch the entire video, I know it's long, but if you watch the entire video, I thank you. And if you download or subscribe to my mod, I, I especially thank you. So, uh, thanks a lot, guys, and uh, take it easy.